Hey guys, it's Faina again. Today I want to talk about coming out of the broom closet. Um, a lot of people who study witchcraft or Wiccan or Pagans, um, they keep it to themselves that they're witches or Pagan or Wiccans. Um, and sometimes that's a personal reason. You just prefer to keep it to yourself and do it on the down low and in your own way, just how you want to do it, when you want to do it. Um, and you know, you don't need any confirmation from anybody else. And that's fine. That's perfect. I don't think you need any confirmation from anybody else. But a lot of the people that don't say anything about it, uh, don't say anything because they're afraid of what other people are going to think. So coming out of the broom closet just means that you're owning up to your religion and your beliefs and saying, hey, I study witchcraft or I'm Wiccan or I'm pagan or, you know, whether it's a combination of witchcraft and paganism or witchcraft and Wicca. Um, but it's it's hard for people to to come out like that. It's And the reason is because there's such a negative connotation behind being a witch or being Wiccan or being pagan. Um, you know, people, when you hear the word witch, you think of some old hag with a wart on her nose, green skin, and going around and drinking the blood of kittens and sacrificing baby goats to the dark lord and whatnot. <laughs> but that's not what we do. I mean, whoever, if you're wicked, you know that's not what you do. It's like I, you know, the, the read says, harm none. Um, but so many people just can't get that out of their heads. It's it's just kind of ingrained in society that witches are bad and they're evil and they said, you know, worship Satan and sacrifices and all that kind of stuff and I feel like that it happens it does but that's kind of I don't think they really fit into the Wiccan category personally um, because of the harm done um, but so coming out to the world and saying hey I'm a Wiccan what are you gonna do about it some people find that really liberating they really do and I did personally when I came out of the broom closet um, some people just never do come out of the broom closet. They don't think it's necessary to. And that's fine. I don't really think it's necessary, but it felt good to kind of have that off of my chest and just own up to what I believe and, you know, say, this is me, take it or leave it. It's it's freeing to me. And that's how I am with everything in my life. I don't just do that for my religion. I do that for, you know, my sexuality. I do it for um, any beliefs that I have, any strong opinions that I have. Any secrets that I have. I don't have any secrets because I just blurt them out to whoever will listen. Um, and I'm comfortable like that. I don't like having things bottled up inside. That's just a personal preference. Some people are fine with it. Some people can just keep all that kind of stuff to themselves and live their lives and be happy. That's great. But the harder part about coming out of the broom closet isn't so much um, society and your friends and your peers. We tend to think of our friends as people who we can come to to let these kinds of things off of our chest and have an open atmosphere where we can share our thoughts and ideas and they're not going to judge us no matter what we say. They're not going to judge us. They're going to stick by our side and they're going to love us. But it's coming out to your family that's the hard part. It's telling your mom or your dad, hey, I study witchcraft. I'm a witch I, or I'm Wiccan or I'm pagan. I believe, I believe in paganism. That's what I choose to believe. And the hard part about that is just when your family's already religious, if they're Christian or Catholic or you know whatever they may be. For me, my my parents, um, they're pagan. Well, not pagan. Huh. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, they're Pentecostal, so um, they follow Christianity, and. Uh, they don't go to church or anything now. So when I was kind of discovering different religions, I was doing a lot of research years ago, um, and I came across Wicca as a religion. And I started just reading into it, and I really liked what I was reading. Um, I just kind of had that in my mind for years that I liked that path. But my mom, uh, she, she doesn't go to church, but she kind of holds the beliefs that you should believe in one almighty God. Um, heaven and hell and sins and that kind of stuff. She's not super strict on it unless it's about witches or gay people. Um, anything that's super different from 
Christianity. She She's not super closed-minded on everything. It's just she is when it comes to things that are really different from Christianity. So um, there was a point in my life when um, I just kind of said, you know what, I'm just going to sit my mom down and I'm going to talk to her and tell her this is how it is, this is who I am, and that's what it is. So I sat her down and I told her, you know, I, I consider myself to be Wiccan. I practice witchcraft and I... I'm happy with my religion. That's what I believe, and I'm happy. And she kind of came back at me with, you know, she shook her head and she goes, I feel like I failed you as a parent and as a Christian and that and that and that. She said she didn't raise me well enough because I turn out to be Wiccan. I'm thinking, if I turn out to be a lesbian, I don't even know what she would have done. <laughs> oh, God. Um... But it, it was a one-time conversation with me. Um, and I don't rub it in her face because I know that it doesn't make her comfortable. At the same time, I wish that I could kind of be more open about it and um, celebrate my holidays out in the household. My dad doesn't care at all. Uh, my brother doesn't give a fuck, but um, it's my mom. It, it would bother her if I just, you know, hung a pentagram in the kitchen or whatever, but... So, you know, I, I kind of keep it on the down low around her, um, just for her own personal comfort. Um, so, yeah, like I said, it was a one-time conversation, and it's not like she disowned me, she didn't kick me out, but she did judge me. And that's something you got to be used to with this religion, and that's sad, but it's true. It shouldn't be like that, but it is. Um, yeah, so that's that's how I came out of the... Sorry, I'm so shaky. Um, that's how I came out of the broom closet. And I'm glad that I did. It was like a weight lifted off of my chest. I felt more open and free, and I don't regret it at all. I, I'm glad that I did. But some people just feel more comfortable keeping it to themselves. And if that's you, if you're one of those people, keep it to yourself. You don't have to come out of the broom closet. You, you never will. Um, and you don't have to stay in the broom closet if you are afraid to come out and you're just worried about what other people are going to think. Um... You also got to remember that some parents and families are really serious about Christianity or Catholicism or their personal religions. And if you don't believe what they believe, they could go to extremes. They could disown you. So you got to kind of gauge your family and decide, is it really worth it for me to come out? Is it necessary? Am I going to get kicked out for it? Um, but, you know... I think having that conversation with your parents is important. I know if, if I ever had a kid, which I don't really want kids, but if I ever had a kid, I would want a really open relationship with them and have them know that I'm willing to talk to them and, and listen to everything that they have to say. So, you know, if I want that relationship with my kid, I feel like I should have that relationship with my mom or my dad. So that's my opinion. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to, but if you're going to and you're really afraid that your parents are going to <coughs> be mad at you or disown you, just consider staying in the broom closet until you're older and, you know, maybe you're 18, ready to move out kind of a thing. It's not necessary to come out. It's not necessary to stay in. It's really just how you feel. If you feel comfortable enough sharing it, share it. Nobody's going to burn you at this. Well, they might. Okay, I'm a little pessimistic, but... Nobody's going to burn you at the stake, especially not your family. You just got to hope and pray and pray on, you know, just hope that your parents will understand and be accepting. Um, and your family. Grandparents are kind of difficult, too. I haven't even told my grandma. <laughs> that wouldn't go over well. She's really Christian. But, okay, so that's about all I have for coming out of the broom closet. Um, just gauge your parents' reaction your, to anything that is related to witchcraft and know your family well enough to know whether or not you should come out. The same goes with your friends and relatives. If you just don't, if you just don't care, you just want to come out, come out. You know, just be ready to face the consequences of what might happen. So that's it. All right. See you guys next time.